Good morning guys, another beautiful Saturday over here, so I'm probably gonna make it outside in a little bit. But for now, I'm working on finishing up that project that I started the other day with like removing all the just random junk that was in our walls. And I think I showed you guys this, but this is kind of, you know, the little pile of junk that um, I accumulated. And so I'm going to basically put it all in a Target bag and carry it downstairs to the um, garage because we have kind of like a pile going in the garage of stuff that needs to just be taken to the dump. So I want to move all of this down to that spot to clear up space in the nursery. Um, Melissa is actually currently out right now. She had, um, she's meeting like two new friends. Well, she, they came over here and kind of all met to go out to lunch or brunch or something. I don't know what they were going, but um, yeah, so that was really nice meeting them this morning and they're out doing that now. I think they went to the Paper Moon Diner, which is like a nice little local, like, I don't know, it's a really funky, fun place. If you're from around Baltimore, you know what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, so I'm just gonna try and I don't, I don't know, I was like having a hard time kind of getting started this morning, like trying to figure out what I wanted to do because I don't currently have any huge house projects that I was working on. So I'm like, okay, so what, you know, what do I feel like doing around the house, getting stuff done? So yeah, I'm gonna do this, <laughs> basically. I don't know why I went off on that tangent, but yeah, that's gonna what I'm going to do and then we'll see where I go from there. <laughs> I'm in so much shock right now. Look how freaking empty the nursery is. How amazing is this? I'm so excited. All right, so you guys know we're planning on putting the air conditioners down into the garage. I just haven't gotten Melissa to do that for me yet. I have no idea what to do with these light boxes. I might end up selling them or something because I use the Diva ring light now and so I don't really have a use for them and obviously they're very bulky and not easy to store so I am not quite sure. Those are kind of just hanging out in here until we figure out what to do with them. Again, you know, it doesn't, it's not a huge inconvenience, but obviously at some point we'll have to figure out what to do with them. And I just feel weird about storing them in the attic. I don't know why, but yeah, so <laughs> there they are. Um, over here, so this is kind of my little pile of clutter junk, what's left of it. So there's a whole bunch of empty, like, you know, drawers and bins and like whatever that's just kind of waiting to be used if needed. Um, I also have a whole bunch of stuff like, these are from our wedding, this is our cake topper, and these are leftover of the stemless wine glasses that we gave out as favors. Um, this is stuff for like picnics, so I might actually take that downstairs. I think I'm gonna take all of this downstairs actually, because I've been like wanting, I think I've told you guys about this, but I've been wanting to make like some sort of longer term dining room storage downstairs for things that we don't need regular access to but obviously don't want to have to trek all the way up to the attic you know if we do need to use them so yeah I think that's what's going to happen with that little stack of things um and then back here we have two lampshades uh a little basket that I could find a use for again like it's just an empty little bin some decorative seashells I don't know <laughs> and then this is all sorts of Christmas wrapping paper that again I'm just a little hesitant to put in the attic like I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm like overly paranoid of like little critters or something up there and like, you know, tearing it apart. So I don't know. I really want to buy some sort of like wrapping paper storage thing from Amazon and get that put in there. So it's kind of like actually contained and put away before I put it up there. So yeah, there's that. And then here's all our cookbooks. We don't really use cookbooks. We use Pinterest, but I still like having them just in case. It's sometimes fun to flip through, especially like the really nice one, like, you know, the William Sonoma one. Obviously we've my mom like makes a lot of William Sonoma recipes and they're so, so good. So definitely wanna like hold on to that. And just like, I don't know, they're really good cookbooks and so we do wanna hold on to them. But 
we don't use them and that's why they've been hanging out up here but eventually I would like to find a long-term storage for them I think down in the kitchen I might try and do I saw a really cute idea of like um Ikea has these little shelf things that are kind of the length that a cabinet is deep and so you would put like I've seen them put two on the edge of a kitchen cabinet to like little bookshelves I'm doing a horrible job explaining this I'll see if I can find a picture and just like basically insert it over my face because I'm not helping you understand what I'm talking about so maybe a picture can but yeah that's I think what I want to do with those eventually and then over here we have one box that I just packed up and I need Melissa's help getting up to the attic and then over here this is all of my cards um, I still kind of am doing a little bit of sorting and organization with them but all of them eventually will go in that box and I have you know, the ones that I've already sorted out and organized into Ziploc bags stored in there. And then over here, this is my movie stubs. Um, here, I'll show you guys what it looks like inside. So I have this guy that doesn't quite fit in, but it fits enough. So I have that. And then I have all of those boxes lined up again with like, you know, kind of my more paper memory things like tickets and playbills and such so yeah that's what i've been doing and i'm really happy like i just i've gotten so much pulled out of here and i'm really excited and i just can't wait to see this room like completely empty it's gonna feel so good um still not sure what i'm gonna do with that dresser that won't be used in the nursery but um yeah it's a nice dresser so i don't want to get rid of it um i might put it up in the attic for storage up in the attic my parents have a dresser up in their attic to help you know store smaller things and I really like that idea but I also have that pink and white dresser that we currently have in the basement that's like only 25% being used um that's not as nice of a dresser so I might put that upstairs and then it would save us the time of actually repainting it which we've been meaning to do for like a decade because it was painted in my high school bedroom so yeah I might use that dresser that's downstairs and put that up in the attic to store things and then put this dresser down in the basement. Oh, and then this could be my dining room storage. Oh, that's a good idea. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, now I'm going to take a break from the nursery and tackle, well, not the whole linen closet, but I guess the bottom part of the linen closet. So this is what it looks like now. Up at the very top, we have two extra pillows just kind of shoved up there to store in case we need them. Uh, we have beach towels and then our heating pad and then these two shelves are where our um, towels are usually stored but I need to wash them next week so it's looking a little empty now because they're all dirty but um well not all of them we still have a couple left to rotate through but anyways yeah so that's where like our regular bathroom towels are usually stored and then that's the bottom <laughs> so I am going to try and get in there and pull all that out I know there's a bunch of like um uh, what would it I don't know like beauty stuff I guess but obviously it hasn't been used since I moved into the house so I likely don't need a lot of it so I want to go through and get rid of as much as I can. Alright so here's kind of what I'm dealing with. The most bulky thing in the bottom of the linen closet was all these curtains that we just haven't hung up yet. They were curtains from like our old apartment that we haven't found a new space for. The one major problem is that most of them we just have one of and most of our rooms have at least two windows except this room does have one window, however it has that radiator under it, and so you can't really hang full length curtains on the window, which is what we exclusively used in apartments. So yeah, still trying to figure out what to do with those. Haven't done too much thought on that yet, because obviously I've been focused on other parts of the house, but yeah, I'm going to try and figure out what to do with these curtains soon. This is our definite trash pile, stuff that I'm just going to throw right away. This is stuff, um, I have a drawer in the upstairs bathroom for kind of like, travel and sample size items so if we ever have a guest stay over we have a bunch of stuff that they can use if they forget something or if we are going on a vacation we can kind of just head up there and get stuff that's travel friendly and yeah so I'm gonna put this stuff in there this is kind of like my skincare stuff that I decided to keep this is a like loofah and these are like sponges so I don't know I guess bath tool type things um, this is stuff that I want to check with Melissa that's either like hers and so she like she needs to tell me if she wants to keep it or not um, or yeah so I just need to check with her before I do anything with that this is like um, again more bath stuff like shower gel um, there's like a bath oil in there some seeds some salts and yeah uh, a sunscreen a thing of melatonin 
some dental stuff, a thing of deodorant, and a container for the Lush dry, like the shampoo bar things, and then stuff for cleaning my coach purses. <laughs> and oh yeah, and then back here I have all my like lotions and stuff in that bin. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm going to put away the stuff that I know I'm definitely going to keep and then yeah, and then I'm actually probably done with this project. Obviously, I need to do, you know, deal with the other things like the stuff I need to check with Melissa, but yeah, that's all for now. <laughs> so yesterday, like 110% just got away from us, basically. Yeah, how much did you vlog? I actually, I was showing them um, clearing out the nursery and I got so much done. I, I haven't shown you yet. There's sure. like, it's so empty. I need you to bring that box up to the attic though. And the air conditioner's down to the garage. Maybe we can do that today. I'm gonna put them in soon. Uh, yeah. I don't like having window air conditioner. I wanna just buy new ones. They're so gross and gross. They're expensive though. Know. They're more expensive than I thought. Oh yeah. That sucks. Oh, they're actually, they're not too bad, but. Um, yeah. Well, we don't wanna buy like four new ones when we have them. No, I'm probably gonna buy a new one for down here, but it's just gonna be a tiny one. It's not gonna be a big one like that was in there. Yeah, well that one was full of mold. That one needed to be like yeah. gotten rid of. I gotta actually <laughs> get rid of it. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> that was like a tangent first thing. Oh. Um, anyways, so yeah, so I was showing you guys the nursery and then Melissa and the guys got back from lunch, brunch? What was it? <laughs> lunch. Lunch, yeah. Um, and we hung out here for a little bit and then we decided to go get milkshakes. So we actually went down to Belvedere Square, you guys know we go, or we used to go to Belvedere Square a lot. We kind of stopped. It's a little farther away than now. We used to live closer. Yeah, so we used to go there all the time. It's just a really nice, like out, like not outside, but like a marketplace yeah. with a bunch of different restaurants and stuff. And so we got really yummy milkshakes. I got a strawberry one with whipped cream. What did you get, chocolate? Chocolate. Chocolate with whipped cream. They were so good. I Cheated. love milkshakes. <laughs> yeah, Melissa was like, I'm just gonna count this as another cheat meal. <laughs> but I've been having a lot of those recently. <laughs> um, anyways, <clears throat> we yeah we hung out there for a little bit, and then we come back here, and Riley left, Declan stayed, Becca came. Yep. <laughs> and so we ended up hanging out here for the night with Declan and Becca and Fizzgig because we wanted Becca and Fizzgig to come over here specifically for the night. Well, the reason for this like planned event, obviously, mm -hmm. we like hang out with them. <laughs> But aside from that, we wanted Fizzgig over here because we're going to be watching her in a couple weekends and we wanted her to like, you know. Just get a little more used to that. Yeah, so have one more time kind of just chilling around here, getting used to it, being comfortable here so that when she stays here, she's, you know, not all freaked out. So, um, yeah, we had them over. We finished up the Harry Potter puzzle. Should we show them? Go for it. Go for it. Yeah, so we ended up, after we all ate dinner, we just kind of ended up sitting around the dining room table because we had moved the puzzle to the dining room table, so it was like off the coffee table and wasn't like cluttered and so I was just sitting there and so people kind of just started like putting a piece here and there and then like by the end of the night it was just like all bets were off and we completed the puzzle. So here is how it looks all finished. Very very nice and I think we are actually going to frame it and put it either up in Melissa's office or down in the basement somewhere. But that was always the plan like when we bought it down in Universal is to put it together well when Melissa bought it was to uh, put it together and get it framed and put it up somewhere because I just think that'd be really cool. And it's like, it kind of doubles as like a souvenir from our trip, you yeah. know what I mean? So yeah, I think that would be a really cool thing to like have hung up around the house. But yeah, aside from that, what do we have for dinner? We had chicken thighs, quinoa, and no, salad. Brown rice and salad. Brown rice, right. We were planning on quinoa, but we found out that we didn't have any, so we had brown no, rice. <laughs> and salad, which was really, really good. Yeah. It had like what cucumbers, cucumbers, um, tomatoes, like sprouts, like sprouty stuff. Yeah, which I we don't normally like put in stuff. But I liked that. It was really good. Tired. I had a hard time waking up this morning. I know. I, we finally we were like dead asleep last night. Like we slept hard, and Dakota, poor Dakota, by the end of the night was just so wiped out. Oh, she was so tired. Yesterday. She was just passed out in my lap, like not even moving. She was so like tired. She started dreaming in my lap. Yeah. Like, do that. Yeah, it was a big, big day with lots of friends coming over. Yeah, yeah, big, big day. <laughs> um, I don't know. Did I miss anything? Nope. Sorry. We just went right to bed. Yeah, we literally. I went once they left. We just went right to bed. We were so so tired. Um, but yeah, sorry. I didn't like mean to just kind of like drop you guys. I just forgot, and we were literally. It was after dinner even. I was like, oh my god, I haven't vlogged for the rest of the day. 
Because, like, I went, I meant to, like, go, go get milkshakes, and I don't know. I don't know. It just completely failed. So, <laughs> sorry that about that. Yeah. Um, well, because also, like, we, they were new friends, and yeah. Becca knows that we'd vlog, and so, like, we've gotten comfortable with doing it around her, but, like, these guys, I didn't want to, like... They're new friends. I don't want to be like, here's my yeah. camera, like, yeah. <laughs> you know. So. so, yeah. But, um... Yeah. Now I'm trying to get myself up to the gym. You got this. Yeah. I want to get up. She went like so early. Did we? I think we told them already that you went like got up and went to the gym right away. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that. But that was oh, awesome. Left the house by nine o'clock to go to the gym yesterday in the How morning. Awesome is that? Well done. I tried to do it this morning. I couldn't get myself up. Now it's eleven. <laughs> it's still early. I yeah, it's still early. Because before, like, you started going in the mornings, you were going in, like, the afternoons. You wouldn't go to, like, 3, 2 or 3. Yeah. Something like that. So, 11 is still early. Yep. But. Ooh. I've even had coffee already. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I know, right? Um, I need more water. Yeah. Drink that water. H2O life. <laughs> You're a dork. I know. All right, we're going to go. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. It really helps out my channel. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already and turn on the bell notification if you would like to be notified whenever my vlogs go live. And other than that, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Bye.